Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So we are still on Echo, and it looks as though, if you go to the star map, uh, Jade Falcon now has primary control of the planet. Draconis Combine is still on here a little bit, but uh, we've got control, which is nice. We're going to take a... Um, Jade Falcon's got more control over this planet as well. But we're going to take a five skull mission here today. And then we're going to take a four skull priority mission over here. So we're going to do these two today, I think. Um, so let's take a look here at contracts. It's a take the bait mission, which is, you know, it's always iffy. So we're going to take this one. It's local government heraldry, so I don't think it should be too bad. And we're going to go full salvage, of course. Uh, I did start, uh, if we go back to the Argo real quick, uh, I did start getting a hydroponic upgrade uh, for the Argo. We've only got a handful of things left here. Um, we need 2.25 mil for this one. So it's going to be a little bit for Medbay 3. But I figure we can knock off this hydroponic garden and then get the upgrade to it right afterward. Um, we should have enough sea bills for that. So let's just jump straight into this contract here. Take the bait. We're going to do this sucker. Full salvage. Hopefully we can get something good out of this. Maybe some Cyclops parts or something. And we'll bring our second lance out of the action. And bring in our main lance here. And Sundance and six pack. So we want to bring in the Orion, the two... Um, Timberwolves and then the Night Gear. Now we're still looking for a Thunderbolt 20 ammo for this guy so we can switch it over. So we'll keep our eyes open for that. So let's deploy and get this done. Oh shit. Here we go. You know what guys? I sense this is a prime spot for an ambush. I should probably keep myself, my eyes open and, uh, you know, whatever else. Whatever else Darius says in advance. Um, Coordinates received. I think I want to try something a little different than I did last time here. I'm there. Okay, and Athena. Not for long. Not for long. Venerable Bishop Steiner. Crap. Well, not much I could have done about that. Vindicator Centurion, really, eh? They're really low armor, which has got me concerned. At five skull. Firing on we already hit me. Torso, really? That's bad. Okay, is this the Bishop Steiner? It is. We're about to end you, buddy. Accuracy through volume of fire. Enemy mech destroyed. 
How you like me now? Ooh. Okay, we got some opposition coming up. Waiting for orders. Firing all weapons. Ooh, three hits with twenty eight percent chance, really? Reporting critical hit. Nice shooting. Heading out. And firing. And another hit, too. Nice. Waiting for order. And fire. Confirm. Think I hit something good. That dude is run out of armor. Location confirmed. Okay, we're going to leave the swarm. Go back to the Artemis and fire. Just in case that guy was wondering what a real missile platform was looking like. I think that was a headshot. Mech destroyed. You got that right. Mm-hmm. Let's go this route. Soften him up a little bit. Or or just kill him. That works. Don't even know what to say to that. This is supposed to be five skull. Ah, this Orion's gonna be out for a while. All right, sick them, guys. Quick stepping it. And fire. Good, a critical hit. What's up, boss? On my way. Sure. That's a whole lot of ones. This won't be, though. This won't be. Eh, fire. It says destroy enemy units still, and it's like zero.
wonder if that Centurion was supposed to be the uh, the main target. Um, that's interesting. Critical hit, Commander. I'm out of long range missiles. Hmm, no, you're not. Rolling. Better not be. Paid for a hell of a lot. This guy's got a lot of damage reduction on him, but nothing that we can't smash through. And fire. There it is. I guess that was supposed to be the heavy mech. Wow, that was just really bad. Five skull mission, really. Ah, uh, we want to get an Iron Curtain Centurion? Sure, why not? Because, why not? Cataphract part. Oh, God, it's just junk. Cooling pods, exchangers. We don't have any. It is a client exchanger. Double heat sink. I think we take this. Oh, this is kind of nice too. It's an IS weapon though, or IS platform. 22 tons. Now let's go for the Iron Curtain. Might as well get some sea bills out of this. Alright, Vindicator part. And uh, lower melee. And junk. Okay. That mech is ready to fight. Well, there it is. 70 grand, 10 days, yeah. Shouldn't be 10 whole days, though, but probably around 8 days for the Orion. Uh, 9 days. Yeah, whatever. We got a jump systems anyway. So, let's have a look at that mech here. Interested to see what it's got on it. So this is supposed to supposedly the Iron Curtain. So compact heat sinks, active combat shield, blue shield particle field dampener automatically, AMS and AMS ammo. It's all integral. It's actually kind of interesting. Minus 20% damage taken right there. The AMS and then uh, plus 30% resistance against energy attacks. Wow. Minus one accuracy when activated. So I guess you have to activate this thing. 10% chance for failure on activation. 50% chance for failure. Failure on consecutive turns. Okay. Yeah, I mean, sure. Let's fix it. We'll throw it in storage. It's kind of cool. All right, so let's go to. I got eleven days. Let's go to that. Where are you here? Retribution mission. And. Sure, why not? 419. Well, who's it against, though? Draconis Combine. Yeah, we're going to go full out. Might get some good stuff off them. By your command. Let's make that jump. Private screening for the senior staff.
So I'm really hoping this mission's a lot tougher. Thank you. Thank you very much. We got four days to get there. Now we didn't lose anything, right? Oh, you know what we should do? Uh, let's make sure we drop this into storage. Save a few C bills. We, I still want to load, load this out, but I haven't uh, figured out how we're going to do it yet. So maybe do it the next mission, next uh, episode or something like that. I've got the financial report. All right, come on. Here we go. Um, sure, we're ready to go. Mainland, let's deploy. Okay, fingers crossed for some good competition here. Keep an eye out for reinforcements, eh? Well, there's always reinforcements on this map. Just be careful for the first little bit. Okay, I'm hearing vehicles. Ready for orders. You think priority missions should be tougher? Let's hope it's tough. Yeah, I heard four vehicles moving over there. All right, what do we got? A dragon, thunderbolt, bushwhacker. Okay, uh, not so bad, I guess. Let's just fire on this guy straight out. I don't think this guy can even see us. All right, he's in position. Um, I'm gonna go swarm. Let's go with the chance to hit, I guess. Firing. Oof. Welcome to the party. See you at the party, Richter. Firing. He's just gonna stand there and die. And there ain't a damn thing he can do about it. Alright, firing. Oh, he survived it. No, he didn't. I don't think he did. No, I heard him go down. Now he might have been knocked over, but I don't think so. Raptor 2, let's just fire. Standing by. Uh, I don't even think you need to move. Sure. Got plenty of time to take those guys out and fire. We're too busy stripping all the armor off these guys. Sure. Affirmative. Cause why not? Firing. Ooh, goodbye. Target neutralized. Okay, now we can focus on these guys. I think we want a Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt 65 tonner. What else do we got here? Zephyr. Commander. Rolling. See if we can get their eyes off here. Gotcha. Ow. Bet that hurts. 
Broke his transmission. Just waiting for orders. Hammer him. Firing all weapons. Reporting one last vehicle. Nobody likes a peeping Tom. Nobody. Um, uh, right here. Yeah, man. Where's that SRM carrier? Missile carrier, missile carrier. Let's go with this one. This one looks shifty. Nice. That's the thing I love about these lasers, they're so... you can fire so far away. Clan, ER largest for the win, man. Alright. They still haven't even moved yet. I don't even think they can see us. Well, let's bring the rain on this guy. Hmm. Okay, let's clean them up. Yeah, one guy left. Enemy unit destroyed. Standing by. Receiving you. LRM carrier. Okay. Acknowledged. All right. There's the reinforcements gone. Reporting. Enemy vehicle in the All right. Time to focus on the uh, bushwhacker now. And I'm going to switch up to incendiary. Locking in all weapons. Because I want to get on Double these guys time. now. Roger that. Okay. And fire. Okay, I was wishing this that this would be a more difficult combat, but sorry guys, not much I can really do about it. Uh, Warlord first, offensive push. Let's go after this leg and fire. Okay, we got two hits on it. Yeah, man. Love the light shows. Commander. Okay. So wait, what do we got left here? Sorry, I better make sure we got know what we're doing here. This one's got 70, this one's got 65, eh? Let's go after this one. Yep. Well, that was four hits. That hit something good. Sure did. Fifty-eight percent, eh? 
sure. Well, I took a lot more pieces off them than I wanted to, but there it is. Alright, priority mission, nice. Pay contract payment increased by 20%. Should more than cover our damages. Almost no experience. Sundance, man. Nice kills. Okay. What do we got here? Thunderbolts. Where are you? Three parts. And we have four parts of a Thunderbolt. Okay, we're going to go that route. And let's see if there's any... Prototype double heat sinks down here. Most likely not. 300 core XL. Trip. Yeah, this is actually good for sale. We'd have three of these. That'd be like almost a million. We could sell them for. Double heat sink kit is only. It's the inner sphere version. It's only 2.5. Uh, powered censored void system. Any ammo? Goss. We got lots of goss. Artemis. SRM Artemis. Huh. Thunderbolt 20 ammo. We want Thermal Bolt. Deals area effect damage within 90 meters of impact. Area effect damage 20 to primary and secondary targets. Heat damage plus 20 to primary and secondary targets. Okay. Do we leave a Thunderbolt part and grab another Thunderbolt 20 ammo? I think if we're gonna do it, we should probably do it right. Let's do it this way. Sure. Okay, one, two, three bushwhacker parts, one, two dragon parts, two thunderbolt parts. Let's hope we get the extra one. And we picked up a couple of thunderbolt twenties, really. Oh, we got a bushwhacker. Okay. All right, no, no uh, cost really for repairs. So that's good. First of all, let's have a look at the Bushwhacker. And then I think we'll fix up that night gear. So there's the Bushwhacker. Got so many mechs now. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Thinking we're just gonna trash this guy. Strip the stuff, trash it. Don't think we're really gonna have any use for it. We've got our omnis, right? So I'm probably better off not keeping it right now. So let's scrap it. Nine hundred and thirty thousand. That's excellent. So let's scrap that. Okay, so let's have a look now at a, where are you here? Here we go. So let's see how we can refit this for max damage here. So we talked about pulling the LRM-20s out. We have to pull some of this out. Okay, and then launchers, our Thunderbolts are down here. So we got one Thunderbolt, 20. I mean, we could go with two. But, I don't know. Uh, so here's our ammo. I want to have the option of being able to put the uh, thermal bolts in too. So we talked about pulling all the LRM-20s out and then switching to the 15s. Which are... Here's somewhere. Here we go. Got plenty of them. Talked about running three of them. Okay, so that's a 45 launcher. With a 45 launcher, we need 
450 rounds. There's 480 plus swarm plus incendiary. So this would be two, four, six, eight. That's eight turns, I think, right? Two, four, six. Well, eight. And 30, 60, another 120, 10, 11 turns probably of LRM ammo. That's not bad. That's about the same with this here. And then we've got room to put, we can put some patchwork in here. I think we talked about just putting the .25 in. And then we can just pull a couple of points off the back here. It's not going to kill us. Yeah, I like that, I think. So let's try that, see how it works. Let's confirm this. Since we got a little bit of time, those two missions were super easy. Let's have a look at this guy. So I thought about making this guy like a speedy assassin kind of build. But it really it doesn't lend itself to that. Like as soon as you put a big enough engine in to make these things fast, it doesn't work. So with the Chameleon LPS and the R14 sheath beacon, you really want to make it a relatively slower mech. Um, it's like really the best countermeasures in the game, I think, pretty much. So it doesn't need to be fast. It's got four to defense before movement decay, four hexes before stealth defense decays. So it can move four hexes before stealth decays. So, I mean, we can, it doesn't have to be that fast, right? And we make this a long range, long range precision guy. Um, it's got regular endo. We can put clan endo in if we want to. Don't think we have to, but just leave it for now. Uh, cores, we're running a six. We're 65 tons, right? Could just go with a 250 core. Yeah. Then the rest we have for weapons and armor. So we've got eight laser hard points and three missile. This is guys a slow hmm slow long range build a pair of ER PPCs they got maximum range of 750 though once again it's why the ER larges are so good Just wondering where we're going to use this. Let's just see for sake of argument here. So I want to go with the uh, Timberwolf build just for a second. Just for sake of, we don't have enough prototype double heat sinks for this build though. Just gonna drop them in and see what happens. Heat sinking 64, alpha strike 100. So that's not too bad. The client exchanger in there.
Then we can change up one of the builds of the... Uh, can't use this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I have, like, zero excitement about this mech. I mean, if I was... Yeah, if I was the, in the uh, inner sphere and I got this mech, I'd absolutely love it. But with what I have, it's like... I can't even get a command call. I can't... You know, I'm stuck with what I can put in here, too, right? So this is... Yeah. This is better. We could stick the energy one in, I guess. Oh, well, maybe that. I don't know, man. Like, this mech would just stand back beside the night gear and just fire from a distance. It's all it would be useful for. No other way I can get the heat down. Don't have any exchangers or uh, not exchangers. I mean, we could make the engine slightly bigger. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Little better. That's a huge difference. Because then we got patchwork we can throw in, right? To balance out the weight. Then we can do... This. Go here. Because I've been told multiple times we need laser AMS. Oh, sorry, uh, where are you here? Light tags. Yeah, even that, like, I'm not even excited about it. You know what I mean? Like, with the exception of the stealth system, it's slower. It's just not, I mean, it's got a little bit more defense, but it's just slower. It's like easier target to hit. Well, maybe not with the chameleon. Like if we pull it the defensive gyro, let's say. Where's our gyros here? Gyros. Extra light gyro. Gives us a ton and a half. No way we can sink anymore. So, I mean, it would be like... 
put the laser AMS in here and then another uh, tag but the tags don't even have the range that the ER largest have 510 that's 510 you don't have any taggers left Can't even put the integrated AMS on this guy. <sighs> hmm. I just don't think it's worth the C-bills right now to have it in the roster. Let's just put it in storage for now. It's not any better than any of the mechs in the main lance. And I mean, it's, I mean, we could run it in the second lance, but the second lance we're relying completely on speed, and this just doesn't have it. So let's just put it in storage for now. Yeah. Sorry to say, but I mean, that's what's got to happen, I think. All right. Well, I'm going to end the episode there, guys. hope you enjoyed it. I mean, the battles weren't that tough, but let's just see what we did with the planets here before we leave. So this one was just marginally in Jade Falcon's control. Yeah, we cranked it up a bit, crushed the Draconis Combine a little bit. And then here, yeah, it's Jade Falcon now, so that's good. These two five skull planets are now in our hands, which is good, and they'll stay that way. And we'll have to look for some more Five Skull Worlds. Looks like uh, we're proceeding south here. Looks like uh, Clan Wolf is headed towards Terra. Jade Falcon looks like they're headed towards Terra as well. So maybe we'll jump over here and help them push towards Terra. Wish we had some more flashpoints around us, but we don't. We do have several in uh, Night Witches, but none for us, unfortunately. So maybe a few of them will pop up close by and we can take them. All right. But we're going to end the episode there. If you enjoyed it, uh, please just drop a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please feel just feel, bleh, feel free to subscribe. Uh, also, drop any comments in the comments section down below. Do you think it was the right move to pull out that uh, exterminator? I can bring him back, but I mean, I don't know. It wasn't really giving us anything that we don't already have. So that's just the way I felt about it. Uh, also, with the night gear, if you think that the Thunderbolt 20 is probably the best way to go. I think it probably is too. We'll see how it goes with an LRM 45 and uh, and the Thunderbolt 20. That pinpoint damage will be nice. Um, that's for sure. There's been a few times I wish we, we had that, but uh, now we do again. And the thermal bolt ammo, we got three rounds, so I mean we can help overheat people too if we're running into an issue or start fires or whatever. So okay, we're going to leave the episode there and uh, until next time, we'll see you later.